Let's go. Paint. I was sort of intrigued by this, how it looked like a shield or, or something. All right, so really no mistakes here. Nothing that we can't fix. Yes, so it's really fun because I haven't really done a lot of art in the recent years of high school. And so doing this was really fun because I love doing art and I love science too. So combining them was really interesting. Now, is it a ladybug? Well, it's a seven. It's really fun because I've always been an artist, and since I was younger, I've tried to do things involving art and science because I have a love of animals and a huge love for painting and drawing. And I've always tried to draw cats and dogs, but drawing an insect is so unique okay. because they have such different body shapes and body plans, and it's really interesting to have that perspective. Put a little patch. Well, you can do it right over this just very strong pigment okay. it is the common ground is the power of observation because then I think you can detail and making connections and those are important parts of both fine art both work as a painter and as a scientist and I believe that students will learn a lot more of the details of their particular beetles by looking at them as an object to paint that's when you really begin to focus in on what is the shape of that leg. How long are these antennae? It is. It, it, it gives me a deeper appreciation for the zoology I'm learning, and I'm able to better understand what the beetle's like features mean to its um, niche. So like my beetle is the spotted cucumber beetle, and it's yellow and has black spots on it. So it hides in like orchards and stuff and with corn, so it kind of blends in with its surroundings, and um, I understand that better now that I've done the artwork. Well, no wonder you need some more y'all. Great. It's actually a natural to combine art with science. Uh, when you look at field guides in zoology, uh, Roger Tory Peterson made famous the idea that you blending art with science and in terms of observation skills uh, when you're dealing with life sciences becomes very very important and when you're drawing and have that kinesthetic uh, element to it you have a tendency to be more ob observant and it stays with you longer if you could blend the art with the science and there's loads of careers that blend with art and science all right good uh, it's, it's pretty difficult for me. I haven't been in an art class since middle school and even then I was basically artistically handicapped. But you know, this is really helping me. I'm learning the principles of it and how to do better. All right, how are you doing here? Oh, I love it. She's showing me different techniques because my beetle is very shiny. It looks like a jewel. And so she went and showed me how to make it look like that, just using paint and water. And so that's really cool, having somebody who does that for a living. I think everyone's doing an incredible job. And one thing I noticed is that people started a little tentatively, started a little slowly, and in the matter of two days, I see just a huge boost in the level of confidence. So I think we have some artists in the making in here. Ooh, it glows. I've always gained a lot from learning from an artist and having teachers and it was very unique and exciting to have someone teach me how to make those shapes and to make those colors and those highlights and those depths and everything like that. Everything else is done. Yeah, definitely. Like in our notes we do uh, drawings and that helps you remember uh, the actual terms better. So it just brings me a deeper understanding. So it's definitely helpful. Um, as a, in a science class, you don't get the opportunity to have a professional artist come in and teach you about the aspects of art and connect it to science. In a sense, species, as it is a reproductively isolated population, they're all different. That's just in the name. And in a sense, art allows you to differentiate that and then pick out the points that really differentiate the species. Yes. We're, we're hoping that it's not only fun for them, but we wanted them to get an appreciation for biodiversity. So they got to pick their own beetle it's species beetle. of 400,000 different species. One out of every five animals on the planet is a beetle. Uh, is so by picking beetles, that was the best animal order to 
demonstrate what we wanted them to have an appreciation for biodiversity. And they're seeing in the anatomy what these animals are adapted for for different niches and I think getting a deep appreciation for biodiversity. It has green right here followed by mostly red, a little bit of light pink. Uh, this is the Hercules beetle.